Why are you not interviewing your agents? Yeah, you, you who's a buyer, you who's a seller. Why do you go with the very first person you talk to? I mean, selling a home or even buying a home is a pretty big deal. And you want to make sure that the person you're working with is someone who A, knows what they're doing, B, is a good person, and C, is going to make this process as easy for you as possible. Now, typically when you're a buyer and you're window shopping homes on sites like Zillow, Realtor.com, or Trulia, and you go to click that button that says connect me with an agent, guys, they're not connecting you with the listing agent. They're going to connect you with a random agent who services that local area. And while that may be totally fine, and that person may be the right agent for you, you still want to do your due diligence to make sure that they're the right person for the job. And I get it. You want to work with your cousin who's been in the industry for a year, or maybe that guy that sends you postcards once a year, but you don't really even know his name or what brokerage he works for. Everyone's going to have their own reason for choosing the realtor they want to work with. However, again, interview multiple agents. Make sure that your cousin is going to market your property correctly. Make sure that the postcard guy knows how to negotiate to get the best deal possible for you to have you walk away with the most amount of money. Just because people say they're a real estate agent doesn't mean they're a good one.